Welcome to the class style. I'm Sharon, your host friend for today. Guys, I am happy first time ever doing a B team challenge. And I'm going to give you a little details later on. So I got these printed, copied on the laptop. And I decided that I'm going to use them to incorporate in my B team. So they're so cute and I'm just using my water colors and coloring them in. Now, this is an unbeatable challenge hosted by the lovely Jackie from Crafting by in Mimi's World and the lovely CJ from CJ DIY and dear Christine from DIY Craftaholic. So there are some rules to this challenge. You you must mention the host names in the description box. Also a minimum of three B-team DIYs and you must include a read. And thank you for the host for inviting us to come along and have fun with them. And let's create. So guys, I'm just using my paint and painting in all the pictures like I said. And I'm doing my blending. I'm creating a little honey drop from the nest and these are the honeycombs that I'm going to be painting in and I know that I don't really like my videos to run too long so I'm kind of quickening up certain parts but you of course will understand what I'm doing so because I love to blend my paints I'm just using the watercolors to get that effect that I want I did not buy anything, everything that I had on hand here to create my team. And like I said, I just got prints for um, doing my paintings. Now I'm using a cup that I normally buy my latte in. And I thought that it will make a cool um, nest. And I just painted the part where the opening is supposed to be. And I got, this is a six pack of rope. But um, that I bought for ninety dollars down here, and I'm just using one to run around. Now I'm doing this slightly different from the rest. I am creating my opening for the bees to go into first. Um, I'm just wrapping around the bottom, and what I am doing is just going around the black part there that's supposed to be the hole, and then I'm just twisting and going back around and twisting again and coming back around instead of doing the whole thing and then painting it on your rope it's just my way and i'm just closing up the cup with the lid and i'm going to use the lid as the bottom and what i'm going to do next i'm going to cut all my pieces out the shapes and i'm going to show you what i will do next so my son and his wife they have their own organic farm they are also beekeepers and their honey, we are based in Trinidad and their honey brand is very, very tasty, real organic honey. And this is because they keep their bees, they try to keep their bees very happy so that they can produce good honey. Now, continuing on, I am just carving out on this cardboard a... Uh, cutting board I like to do cutting boards so I'm just doing it on the cardboard and later on I'm going to show you what I create with it I also have this piece of board that I just picked up from outside and what I'm doing I'm cutting out the mug from on this cardboard also and I'm going to show you what I did with it I so I'm just taking the piece that I painted and I'm spraying it. I like to spray my pieces before I do the mud podge. It goes on smoother. And I'm just adhering it to the cardboard to give it a little more body. And I'm just going to let that dry. Now I had this bottle. And I'm, I was, all kind of thoughts was going through my head. And I decided, hmm, let me stick it around the bottle. This is a difference. And I'm just using the glue gun. And I'm adhering it onto the bottle. And... What I'm doing next is I had this old frame that I had gotten and I want to create something of an outdoor looking piece with branches and bees and stuff. 
So this is what I did. I got a piece of adhesive. This was the only one I could find that look that gave me that effect that I wanted to like kind of like the sky or the outdoor bright day sunlight. And I'm sticking some branches onto it. And this is how it's going so far. Now I had this floral, dry floral from a long while ago and I'm just going to cut it and place it on the side of the piece. So I'm flanking them on the sides. Use my glue gun to adhere it down. Now be careful if you're using the glue gun and the adhesive paper. It can melt the paper. And on the um, nest, I thought that I would cut off the original branch that was to the top. And I'm just adhering it to the raw dry twig that I have here. It already starts to look so cute. I did cut out some of the leaves from the piece and I'm sticking it onto the dry twigs. I just want it to be a little different from some of the things that I've been seeing because like I said this is my first bee team and I wanted it to be a little more unique to my taste and I'm adhering the wood to the bottom. Now I'm flanking this piece to the side because there was looking a little too bare and I thought it looked so cute. Now my next step is just to add in and fill up with the bees that I got printed. I'm just writing in something on the board and I am using a sharpie. And what I'm doing, I'm going to just use my white paint marker and go in and just create a little depth in the pieces. And this is how it's looking. One more element for this, and this is Be Kind. On this piece, I'm just using the sunflowers that I cut out, and I am just putting a dab of glue and adhering that to it. Now, this is the other piece. What I'm thinking is of using this lovely piece that my sister got for me, and I'm sticking it onto the bottle. Now this piece is just a tooth tail stand that I had that I used often and I decided to incorporate it into my bee team. So this is how you mount it up. You put on the bottom, the cylinder and the top. I'm just taking the hives and I'm putting it around the piece and this, this one has a little, a few bees in it. I'm just wrapping it around just to create something nice looking to display my pieces on and I'm using up the sunflowers to place on the piece. I'm adding this one to the top of it, the beeswax. I think I said hives just not the beeswax. Now let me share with you what I'm doing with this cutting board. I am just painting it with the brown paint Add in some depth to it with the marker going around the edges and doing the same thing to the center. I thought this will create a more wooden looking piece. Now my friend printed these for me because my sister had ordered some bee stickers and it never came. So I thought this looks so real and for it to look a little more like it was coming off of the piece I just put a dab of glue in the center of the bee so actually the wings and the whole body the bottom part of the body was exposed like if it's flying off of the piece I didn't want to stick the whole thing down I'm doing the same thing to the honey jar where I just placed the bee just by where the honey is dripping and like I said I'm just doing the center so it looks like a 3D kind of effect going on that it looks so real and I'm just placing them by the flowers and at intervals look at this it looks real in reality so just filling in all these pieces so cute I am enjoying this again remember to head on into the description box to see the playlist for all the lovely people that are participating in this lovely B team challenge do check out our host um, channels which is going to be in the description box 
do say hi subscribe like and share and i hope you are enjoying all of the lovely b teams that you have seen this is how the stand is looking and later on i'm going to share with you how i added the pieces to it now i just write out my words with my pen so and i'm coming over with my sharpie and going in and creating a little more depth i did use the pen paint marker and i'm using the sharpie just to bring out the words and i also added a b to the side i'm just putting going to put on a piece of string to the top here and flank it down on the sides very very simple and this is one of the quickest wreaths guys that i ever made using one of my existing wreaths just took off the center pieces i'm leaving the greenery around and guys i had some large sunflowers that i thought hmm, this is gonna look nice on this i did leave the frame around the wreath part of it and i am going to use this one has a wire so i'm just sticking it on the side but the others i'm just gonna glue them in place quick and easy is the wood guys once i got everything stuck in place guys this looks so gorgeous on the wall this is in my corridor space to head out to the washroom and so forth now i'm just going to give you a little insight of the things that they use they use a brush to, to clean out the bee, beehives they use a clamp to hold the bee box they also use gloves and this is the hard hat and the visor for protection and this is the smoker it kind of keeps the bees a little calm when they're going in today to remove the honey wax this is their honey brand guys oh my gosh if you taste this this is from the hills in saint anne's port of spain trinidad you wouldn't get anything better look how clean this is we also made candles from the wax and we also look how cute this piece looks and with the little wings i'm happy that i didn't stick it on it looks like it's flying we also do lip balm natural everything is natural here and um, all my lovely pieces that i incorporated and guys i'm over at my son's this is how i was able to show you some of the equipments that he used and it did have a, a nest that i didn't show you that was on the outside so this is my picture with the bees just flying and landing and nesting and i enjoy doing this bee challenge so i hope you are enjoying this is their label and they are a registered company here in trinidad and tobago so come get your natural honey guys and this is my other piece that i added some sunflower still so guys this is my presentation my b team presentation i hope you have enjoyed thanks to our lovely host for the invite and i'm so happy to have shown you this guys and do stay blessed and give thanks to all the knowledge that was passed on today by all these lovely diyers so guys from my house to yours from the class style i'll catch you later <laughs> bye guys